beautiful people, my name is Miranda Joy Ayim. I'm a two-time Olympian with Team Canada, exploring how we define success, how we perceive failure, and all the emotions and experiences in between. So I'm coming to you guys from France. I'm in the southwest of France in a small town called Montmarsan. And this is my second home here, so it's really nice to be back after being away all summer, even though I loved being in Canada and I love playing with our national team, it is nice to be back here as well. So I'm here playing professional basketball and this is actually where I am for most of the year, usually about eight months out of the year. Uh, so I'm back in my home with all my things, in my own bed, I get to sleep well and I get to see all the beautiful people that I haven't seen all summer. So in our last video, we were talking a bit about success and the definitions of success and defining success for yourself. But it's interesting because once we delve into those waters of defining success, we, they quickly become muddied because we have so many varied definitions of success. Success has become a misnomer in and of itself. There are a number of ideas and images we have associated with the word success. It's become polluted and disused and warped to the point that we don't even, we have to associate or we have to rather differentiate between success and true success. It's interesting that the definition of success has almost become kind of the opposite of what it's meant to be. We have successful people who feel like failures and we have fail failures who feel very successful indeed. So what is going on here? This ambiguity has led to a lot of confusion. Even while we're talking about success, one has to constantly qualify oneself. We have two different modes of success generally. We have the normal parameters of success that we see in society, so that usually has to do with social rank, finances, awards and achievements, titles or degrees. That also includes celebrity, whether it's warranted or not, internet famous, etc. Uh, we also have, on the other side, something that's more value oriented. So that has to do generally with one's meaning and passion. Um, the value we derive from goals, setting goals and intentions, one's level of happiness and satisfaction in life. So those are two different ways that we often define success. The difficulty with ascertaining our personal definition of success is that we have to identify certain unconscious labels that are already in place. And the difficulty with that is they're unconscious. We have to identify values true values that we have and hold, not merely things that we say we value because we want to look good to the person next to us or that we think that will make us look good in society or to our parents, our friends, not the things that we say just because we think we should value them, but indeed the things that truly reflect the values we hold inside. You might ask yourself, what even are my values? Well, take a look at your actions. What you do on a day-to-day -day basis is a reflection of your personal values. So each action and decision is based on an inner belief or idea about the world and your place in it. Something as simple as waking up and taking your coffee outside on your patio can be a reflection of your personal values. It's the idea of getting that quiet time in in nature before the busyness of the day starts. So note those specific times and moments where you find really connected, uh, that you find really meaningful. That quiet time, that's important. Getting that in, a time to introspect and calm yourself and center yourself before the day gets out of your, uh, gets out of your hands. Or maybe it's that time actually being in nature, seeing green, being calm having that time being surrounded by the elements. Note that and replicate it in your life. Similarly, if you cherish family time more than anything else in the world and that brings you tremendous joy and meaning, 
Don't feel bad about decisions you've made that reflect those values. Maybe you're making a little bit less at work, less money at work, and maybe you're a bit less upwardly mobile than others of your colleagues because you've chosen to stay close to home or because you want to take on less responsibility at work so you have more time at home and being around those people that bring meaning and bring value into your life. Own that. You made that decision. Own it. And your life will reflect the satisfaction and the level of success, true success, that comes with making those type of conscious decisions that reflect what you find truly meaningful. Being aware of our own personal values allows us to release and put aside the opinions of others. When we realize that our definition of success is truly an internal discovery and not based on external factors, we truly become free. Let me know what you guys think about those two different definitions of success and whether you've found yourself in a similar situation trying to define values or trying to make decisions based on those values and whether you felt successful or the opposite. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And in the meantime, continue cultivating your best you.